Throughout this episode, we will feature real-life stories, expert interviews, and educational content to provide you with the tools and knowledge you need to navigate narcissistic behavior, cultivate healthy relationships, and foster emotional growth. Healthy relationships are the foundation of a fulfilling life. But it doesn't stop there. Understanding our emotions and learning how to handle them can have a tremendous impact on our overall well-being. Our mission is to empower you with the insights and resources that promote personal growth and well-being. We invite you to join our community and embark on a journey towards healthier relationships and emotional fulfillment. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more inspiring content, expert interviews, and discussions that will help you navigate the complexities of human behavior. For me, if tomorrow's not promised, 20 years from now is not promised. So why not make some of the goals that you have part of your lifestyle today? It doesn't have to look exactly how, it want, how you want it to today, but sure as hell you can do something today in, that, in some aspect of your life to mirror what you want it to look like in 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. But that it didn't happen overnight, right? Like you had to make building blocks of all of these different skills that I needed to be able to get there. And every single one of you have an idea of where you want to take your life. And there's, there's some skills that you need to achieve along the way. to through, And a number of others. Uh, so I acknowledge you. This show is a little different than some that you have seen before because I'm really introducing uh, Didi to you. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, this is like the last time I'm going to say sorry right? to you. <laughs> I cannot stop calling you that. I really, that is not your name, but I just love calling you Didi. Uh, gonna, so, like, uh, so I started this two months ago. This is going to follow me for my entire <laughs> social media career. People are going to call me I, Didi for the rest of my life. <laughs> listen, I went through this past weekend. I had a talk with myself, I often do, many times over and said, okay, you got to stop calling that, that poor lady that. You, you can't keep calling that girl that. I can say girl because I'm an old guy. But I can't, and that's it. It sticks, though. Just from a marketing standpoint, yep. she should be called Dee Dee because Dee Dee's are always happy. I'm that's just saying. That's true. That's Kendra true. Is, is too, Kendra also, but it's just, I'm sorry. No. Nope. <laughs> What's it? Your G, your G, what does it say? G, my name is going to be. Oh my gosh, I love that, Raven. Okay, okay she said, that, but I'm a grandma. I'm, I'm sorry. Be Actually, Dee Dee. that's a really good. Yeah, that was pretty good. That's okay. pretty good, I Raven. I like that, Raven. Okay, Raven, that's pretty good. Yep. All right, okay. that's pretty. Okay, yep, wait, you there you go. It, you called it. There you go. Hey, Grand talk Kids, about making hey. retirement dreams happen for you today. <laughs> See, Paxton hey, you planned it already. What they're gonna happen. happen. Mm. Look at that, Raven. Thank hey, you but, so but much. Raven came in. Raven came in and said, and it says boundaries. What are your thoughts? This has nothing to do with the cards. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts when you hear the word boundaries? So, I mean, if you can't pick up a theme here yet, like <laughs> I love promises that I've made to myself, right? And to me, a boundary is a promise that you've made to yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not just that you're, you're thinking about it. It's that you actually implement that boundary. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not of the mind that you have to implement that boundary in a rude way, right? I'm a kill them with kindness kind of a person, right? But I am, um, I like to be able to like identify here are my boundaries. I like to, it takes me a long time, honestly, if I'm being 100% honest, it takes me a long time to form what my boundaries are going to be. And then after that, I have to think, it takes me a long time to like digest it and think about how I'm going to execute on those boundaries. So I'm still constantly growing in that area. At some point, you recognize there were things you needed to improve in. Mm -hmm. List three things that you have been able to recognize you needed to improve in as a wife, as a mom, and as a woman. Mm-hmm. Oh man, this hits home because I had to, and like, if I like over articulated, over communicated, like mm -hmm. this is what you need to get done. Like I started to recognize, like I was getting really angry. Like mm -hmm. I was getting super angry and you have nowhere else to go. We mm -hmm. that you, <laughs> you have every aspect of 
yourself, your relationship, everything is um, highlighted, right, on display for you <laughs> to mm -hmm. really have yeah. a moment of self-reflection. So mm -hmm. I quickly realized that that in my parenting, uh, that I was uh, really quick to anger in situations where it shouldn't have been that quick to anger. So one of the things that I did is I made that a double dot theory because I don't think that, that I had the tools or the resources to do that, honestly. Uh, like I have always been in a, like in families and dynamics that have always been like really um, like kind of a, in a hot head uh, mentality. And mm -hmm. that was my natural reaction, right? And um, I'm still that way, right? But I have done a lot of work in that arena. I focused on it A for 30 days when I committed to doing that double dot theory challenge to mm -hmm. learn about different ways to improve. And then I also am a big believer in setting goals for the year and intentions for the year, right? So one of my intentions is to be slow to anger. Um, so that's one huge area um, in my parenting mom life that definitely needed some improvement, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then the <laughs> uh, relationship side of things, uh, being a wife, um, you, you never know, saw this question coming, did you? No, never saw it coming. No, that's it. But go ahead. You were saying. Go ahead. But you know what? This is all personal development, right? Is, um, you know, those areas that you have to, like, um, have a little bit of self-reflection on. Uh, I always like to say that, like, my two superpowers are tenacity and self-reflection, right? <laughs> so, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty I, good. I mean, I live by those. I could see that. I know? could see that. Go ahead. Because you have to, like, at some point be like, it's not everybody else, right? It's me, you know, and I have to pause. You might be, from... you might be able to make some t-shirts and sell those, but go ahead. It's I, not I'll, you, buy it's me. I'll buy one of those. <laughs> Hashtag, it's not everybody else. Yeah. It's got to be me. It's got to go be ahead. me. Uh, so like in my uh, relationship, I think that I have had to definitely approach communication in a different way. Uh, and that is something that I think when you're married is, is a never ending, um, I don't know if growth cycle is, uh, is the right word for that, but it's, uh, you're never, you never stop learning how to communicate. So it's, it's everything, right? Like if you want to have a really happy, healthy marriage, uh, you have to be over communicative about finances, like, and that's not easy for everybody, right? Um, so, you know, that's especially one area that we recognize, like, in our marriage, like, you know, we were both doing things separately, and we decided in 2016, like, hey, mm. like, we have these broad goals that we want to be able to achieve one day, and if we don't get our act together, we're never going to achieve that. So we had to change our entire communication style. We had to change the way that we openly talked about finances. I had yeah. to move my perspective all the way over to the other side because uh, it just like the way that we handled money and finances was completely different. And you know what, guess what? We set ourselves out for a challenge. We uh, made our goal. Wow. We followed the um, Dave Ramsey's uh, seven baby step program. <laughs> we became debt free. You got my boy DR in the house, yes. uh, Dave Ramsey, yes. I need him in. Mm -hmm. And so we became debt free in April of 2017. And oh, that, that's good news. Dave yeah. Ramsey, yeah. You got mm -hmm. If I get him on the show one day, I'm gonna have fun. Hopefully I've one gotten, day I'll get him I on the show. I have gotten onto his show and it was so <laughs> Awesome, so awesome, amazing. awesome. Mm -hmm. So that's the one area that I think uh, relationally, like the communication, it's something that you should always um, self-reflect on. And it, there's always a ton of room for improvement. Uh, so think about every pillar of your life, like finances, having kids, having anything like your parenting style. Every area is a new opportunity to learn how to communicate. <laughs> so there you okay, go. now, yeah. one more thing mm -hmm. real quick. That you got. That was two things. Yeah. What's the third thing? Uh, so you said marriage, parenting, and what was the third pillar? I don't remember. Girl, I'm old. I don't remember oh, stuff. Yeah, man. <laughs> so <laughs> so I one area remember. that I need to improve in. Um, so, I mean, I could say, like, one area that I did not. I know that, okay, this should be, like, a little. 
this is do I have to do I have no, to put a disclaimer out before you say it? so I knew <laughs> I knew for a long time that that I wanted to step out into this personal development realm, <laughs> wait, right? Wait, Sylvia, I'm sorry. Sylvia is so on it. Thank you. Hey, listen, when you get senior citizen like me, I say a lot of things and I forget, but I mean them all. But Sylvia oh. reminded us as a woman. <laughs> Thank as you, Sylvia. Woman. Hold on, wait. You, no, Sylvia. this is for Sylvia. Sylvia, this is for the beautiful Sylvia. Yeah, I appreciate here. it. So as a woman, yes. go ahead. You, so you as, did as a mom and as a, as a, as as a, a mom, in relationship. As a parent and as a woman, um, what growth and personal development as a woman has been there? Yeah, I think that hmm, that's a hard one. I think it's as it, a it, woman, well, you know, as a woman, you've been that longer than you've been maybe a, a mom. That's a, true. That's in a true. relationship, so that one should yeah, actually I be. Think, oh, I have a good one. Okay, so okay. um, I have to like I always want to give credit where credit is due. So there's a woman named Natalie Hodson, and she's an absolute wonderful. Um, I wouldn't say she thinks of herself as an influencer, but she has influenced like hundreds of thousands of people. And wow. she used to have a program that has been expired for years, but I have followed this woman for so long and I'll, I'll probably follow her till, you know, my days are done because I followed her in a time as a woman, that I was having a really hard time with like body images. Right. And I, oh, I okay. never once thought that like, uh, I was I was not happy with what I would see in the mirror, yeah. and she um, used to have this program called uh, the Dollar Workout Club. Now, since mm. this program happened, uh, they were actually on Shark Tank. They launched this business, and you only paid a dollar a month to be a part of this uh, workout program. They've since mm. transferred all of the hundreds and hundreds of videos onto YouTube, so you can do them for free. But at the end of every video. They have this like um, time where they just pause and just talk directly to their viewers, right? They're not, uh, it's three folks, but they'll just pause and just say like, you know, I really thought that like this message of motivation would be really helpful for you. And um, I had recognized for a long time, like, you know, this isn't the healthiest of space for me to be in. And uh, I really just tapped into them and all of their resources and um, was able to like make a mental shift in that arena. When you made a mental shift, mm -hmm. technically, in all three areas, when it came to anger, when it came to communication, mm -hmm. and when it came to the way you viewed your body, mm -hmm. they're all mental shifts that you have technically made. Yep. And you committed to them, and you went about them by stop scrolling, and you improved your, your areas of life. And we all continue to make improvements. But when it comes to you, when you made the mental shift, mm -hmm. what were the benefits that you, just real quickly, what were mm -hmm. some of the benefits that came to you mm -hmm. when it came to personal development and making these mental shifts when it came yeah. to anger, communication, and body positivity or body image? Yeah. So for the anger side of things is that, like, when I took a second to, like, not feed into my emotions of, like, the moment, and I it made me take a step back mm -hmm. and really listen better to what mm -hmm. my kids were saying and what their actual needs were from their mom in that moment. And um, I wasn't born with compassion. That's not my, uh, that's not my strength, right? I literally, I don't think you can see it, but I have white ink tattoos. I don't know if you can see them on camera. I, I can see them. But I literally have compassion like tattooed on me because I always say that that's not something that I was born with. But okay. um, for me, I think that that self-reflection required that right um and same thing with like communication you know um with my husband I've been able to reap so many benefits because we've changed our communication style and our communication right. style is different for every aspect of our life so I yeah, look back yeah. where I was where we were like you yeah. know three or four years ago and where we are today and I'm like we are literally building house. We are building a business. We're building, both of us are part of our own businesses and we have a nonprofit together and we have beautiful children that are just happy as can be in it. You know, that mental shift happened and we've executed on it and it gives you just little tiny building blocks that just help you um, build a new identity almost. And um, I think just like my, the way that I think about myself is not, um, it's not negative anymore. You know, yeah. I don't 
like go to my closet and be like, I have nothing to wear. Because when women say that, it's not that they have nothing to wear. It's just that they don't think that they look good in anything that they wear. And wow. um, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> and that took a wow. very, a lot of, a lot of work to get there. Um, but, yeah. you know, if you want to reap the rewards, you have to have to put the work in now. So I had this like sign made for our house um, before we started the building process for this house. I had this sign yeah. made that said, prepare for harvest, right? And Ooh, the, reason, nice. the reason why I had that sign made was because um, in like from Dave Ramsey, I heard him like say, if you plant corn, uh, don't yeah. be surprised when <laughs> corn grows. So yeah. for me, I took that one step that's, further. That's a Dave Ramsey quote yeah. for sure, without a doubt. So I yeah. took that one step further and I'm like, well, prepare for harvest. Because if you plant yeah. corn, corn is going yeah. to grow. But if yeah. you plant blueberries, blueberries are going to grow. So go start planting stuff in your life that you want to grow from and, and go reap those rewards. Because the only person, honey, that's doing it for you is you. So get your ass out there and go do it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. For me, that was like the defining moment where I decided, um, I made a conscious decision to like um, lead with my intuition, right? Like that, that light bulb moment happens for every single one of us, right? And for me, it may be that you hear it, but you don't go yeah. do anything about it, right? And for me, I'm an implementer, right? I want to push mm -hmm. the boundary on things like mm -hmm. that. And for me, like, I want to listen to that, that calling for me and go pursue that. So for me, that was the defining moment where I made this shift in my false beliefs that like, maybe this is possible. And maybe I should get my button gear and, and put in the work in to go learn the skills that I need. Mm -hmm to mm -hmm. be a good storyteller, to learn Instagram, Raven, to learn mm -hmm. Clubhouse, right? <laughs> to learn all the things that I uh, need to do to share that, um, that message with yeah. people for that 30-day challenge. And then I'll follow up with you and give you some, some coaching and some guidance along the way. So I just want okay. to throw that out there as an invite to your, your folks. And no, uh, we don't do invites. You know what we do? We tell them what they're going to do. There's no invite. They ain't getting invited. So you need they, to come email me. There you go. DM That's what I want. And then you're going to come live with me <laughs> real quick. It. And I'm going to have you shout out where your thing is. And then 30 days from that, you're going to come on with me on a Thursday. We're going to do Thursday, Thursday. And we're going to check how you did your progress. So hit me in the DMs. You know, we ain't inviting nobody. We tell you what you're going to do. That's all right. Because we, we, we love you so much. We're going to tell you. What you're, you're going to eat your vegetables. And you're going to yeah. go there on Focus Friday. I like the Focus Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw that uh, show that you guys did. That was good. All right. So everybody, please, all all three followers that I have here on the, No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so everybody, please make sure uh, that you pay close attention to Double Dot Theory. Your Instagram, I've been saying it over and over, plugging it, of course. Your Instagram page is? Double Dot Theory. Come on by. We'd love to okay. have you. Yes, and so everyone, please support uh, the Double Dot Theory. Uh, feel free to join it. It's going to benefit you if uh, that's uh, it works for you and that's what you're looking for. But more importantly, you will learn something about yourself by associating with Kendra. Uh, you donate uh, mm -hmm. a cup or, or buy Don't a hear cup. That. Uh, Paxton's yeah. about to do my um, so, so. distribution <laughs> channels real quick. <laughs> no, no, I will give you I, – I like to be invisible. We can talk about it, and I can give you ideas, but don't mention my name. Because then people people will start DMing me. Hey, can you help me? And I'll have to tell can them I get no. That cup? <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. I'll tell them. Okay, this is the get thing. I'll do that. But like, I don't want to be your. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Not, well, not you. you. So I'll, I'll do it for my you. But I won't are do it for hurting. You. you guys are cracking okay. me up. Hey, there's a cup right there. That's the first cup. My cheeks oh, are my hurting. Cheeks are hurting. Oh my god! <laughs> Hashtag Patrick. my cheeks are hurting. Killing it, All right, man. listen. Um, I expect to see T-shirts that say that too. By the way, it, it, then your little your little Instagram name right underneath it, or your website right should, underneath it. My cheeks it. are hurting. Like, <laughs> it, it, yes, no, seriously, that's what you should. all right. Ooh, okay, like the level of person that, that decides to take on that challenge and complete it. Yeah, I don't know if it's crazy or amazing. I, I think it's a little combination yeah. of both. But I love those people that finish those challenges. And they just make my yeah. heart like beat. I love it. Yeah, it's really amazing. Uh, I, I just got 
through uh, not this past weekend, but the weekend before, watching my daughter, who I have never thought would ever do a challenge, did uh, that Tough mutter thing out here in California. Yeah. And um, watching her do obstacles, it was just, uh, it was it brought tears to my eyes to watch her overcome huge walls and different things mm -hmm. like that. Whatever personal development challenges you are going to embark on, mm -hmm. don't forget Kendra. Mm -hmm. uh, right now we have to go, but we got to give a little shout out to Rita and both of her phones and uh, both of her pages for being here. We got two guests for the, we got uh, two guests for the price of one, and uh, we appreciate it a great deal. Right now, bye for now. Yeah. You don't change mm -hmm. a thing, my dear. Dee Dee, stay sir. the same. You um, you're on it. Keep implementing and keep uh, helping others implement. Thank you very Thank much. You. I appreciate you it, too. everybody. We'll, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Basically, what that just is, is when you're lying in bed at night to actually start scanning your body and every, like as you're moving through your muscles, to consciously relax them. And actually, like, mm -hmm. and I've done this where I am rushing and I'm getting into bed and I'm, okay, sleep. And then I can't sleep because obviously my body's like rushing with adrenaline and it's, it's busy. Yeah. Yeah. And then I actually scan my body. And as I'm doing it, I'm realizing my shoulders are actually hunched. My shoulders are still yeah. up. Yeah. And then to actually scan your body and say, no, you can actually relax these now. It, it helps quite a lot. And you go from top to bottom, scanning your entire body. And as you're moving through the different muscle groups, actually putting them down and relaxing them. So, for example, that's one technique um, that you can do every night. And it doesn't have to take a long time. But every night when just get into bed, just scan your body and make sure that your muscles are actually relaxed. In a TV YouTube podcast. In a TV network.